welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. So we're just going to open our Mega 2560 and if I can find an edge. And we're going to plug in our USB B cable um, into the into the laptop on the other end. So that's the one that looks like one that plugs into a printer. Plug it into our, our Mega 2560, and you should see the laptop uh, detect it and install the drivers. And it should light up, and then we're ready to program. So next we're going to. Um, install the Arduino environment onto this PC and we're going to load the firmware onto the Mega 2560 on the printer. That's the main sort of computer board on there. So I've just opened Google up and typed Arduino and I can just use the first first tip that usually comes up, Arduino Home, which is the site here. And we're going to download the environment. So you can just grab the latest environment. So there's a download tab here, we'll just click that and see where that takes us. So grab that. So we want, for me, I'm going to grab um, just the installer. Just download it at the moment. And we'll let, just let that uh, continue downloading and we'll come back to that when it's finished. And we've just, uh, we've just finished downloading the Arduino environment. So I'm just going to install that now on this PC. So just double click the file you just downloaded, 1.6.9. So agree to the, the license, leave the defaults as is. Uh, leave that installation directory as is, it's up to you. This will take some time. Okay, so that's done. Close that. Now the other thing we need to download is actually the firmware files. So if you um, go into back into your browser and actually put in uh, thingiverse.com um, and then do a search for sub33d you'll see all our, all our designs there now we're going to grab the latest one uh, which is at the moment it's uh, the $65 th 3D printer made from recycled electronic waste just look for the, the printer with the uh, most recent date so March 20th so we'll just open that in a new tab and we're going to download, you can either download the whole thing or you can just get the file and at the moment the only file we actually need is uh, the sample Marlin firmware and I've just uploaded the, the most recent one with auto bed leveling so we're going to grab that one so it's not a big file just open that up Okay, so just locate the file in your downloads, just open it up, and we're just going to extract that. Just extract that somewhere. Just going to throw it in my downloads. So we'll open that one up later. Just open up your Arduino environment. You should have, you should see it in your start menu now. And 
and we'll need to set a few things in here. So we're using a Mega 2560, or most, most printers do. So we just uh, select that as our processor and our board. So board Arduino Mega 2560 and processor Mega 2560, that's just under tools. And the other thing we need to do is uh, set the COM port. Now I don't know at the moment if it's COM7 or COM9. I've actually plugged the Arduino in via the USB cable. So what I'm going to do is just go back to Explorer and just open up Device Manager. So I'll just usually right, man, uh, right click on Computer and Manage and get to it from there, Device Manager. And inside Device Manager, if you go to Ports, Com and LPT, just open that up. And here we can see the USB serial device, which is the Arduino. And it's sitting on COM9, so I know that I need to select COM9, that's the Arduino there. So go back into your environment. Tools, port COM9, so that's selected, so we're ready to go. So we're going to open up the firmware now that we just downloaded. So open. So I'll put it in downloads. And I think it was called Marlin RC. Marlin. And then the file you're looking for, it's actually the project file. So it's Marlin um, INO or sometimes PDE. In this case, it's just INO. So open up the INO and that'll open up all the associated files with that project. So that's opened up. I'll just maximize that so you can see it. So in here you can see all the all the files have been opened within that project. And these these are all the files you needed to compile to generate your generate your, your firmware for the uh, 2560. So I won't go through all the settings. Most of the settings are contained in configuration.h. There's a couple in advance as well. But um, I'll go through those at a later point. At the moment, we're just going to get the board running and the defaults in that file on the, on the website should be enough just to get things moving. So we'll go to Tools or actually Sketch, Upload, and we'll actually compile this and then upload it to the Arduino. So we'll just do that now. And I'll take a take a good 20-30 seconds to compile and then it should start uploading. And done uploading means it was successful and you, then your Arduino will reboot and it'll be ready to use. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.